Hi everyone, this is Rashid from Italic. Okay, today we'll speak about uh, Power App Component Framework. Okay, here's our agenda. Okay, so let's go and see what is uh, PCF. Okay, PCF is uh, a new feature added by Microsoft so we can create our own custom components. Okay, it's working uh, only till this moment. Uh, for model driven apps only it is not supported uh, by canvas apps okay and works with uh, unified interface okay uh, so you have you have to make sure your version is uh, uh, 9.1.0.3 or later so okay uh, power app component framework is uh, a lot of people say what is the difference between it and between uh, web resource okay so the main difference is that it is supporting uh, it is running in the same form context uh, whilst uh, the web resource running asynchronous so that make a big difference in uh, usability and performance okay also when you create your uh, PCF you will have one package okay in one place like one component in the other hand you in web resource you have multiple uh, files one for for example HTML another for JavaScript and so on okay also uh, power app component framework is uh, uh, multiple form of actor support so you can work use it in your web for and tablet okay and this is uh, with with good uh, performance okay better than web resources much better okay so here is the main parts of uh, the component okay we have like manifest file input file and the component implementation and resource files okay and here actually we can see that we have here like for example this is uh, uh, here component implementation usually in this path index.ts uh, type script okay and this is a manifest and if we look in the manifest we can see here we can uh, declare our namespace and all the imports uh, also if we have some uh, resources we can add it here okay So how to install it? To install it, uh, you have first to install Node.js, okay, first. After that, make sure you have uh, this uh, framework, 4.6.2 developer pack, okay. And uh, you have to uh, install Visual Studio 2017 or the other option to follow uh, option two, okay. Uh, Personally, I uh, I am working with option one. I never test option two, but this from Microsoft uh, website. Okay. After that, you have to install uh, Power App CLI. Okay. It is all this installation just like next, 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 click, click, click. So it is very simple. Okay. So here is the step. Okay. So first step to create your own uh, component. Uh, you have to open your uh, command prompt in Visual Studio. So actually, here's uh, uh, all the steps. Okay. So what I did right now, I already make it here. So I will come here and just uh, I will make it like that. So now I can have my own one, and I will create CF okay so let's open a uh, developer command prompt here we have oh, where is my visual studio yep here is my visual studio i will run it as administrator okay after that uh, we i already create this folder after that uh, I have to navigate to this folder so CD to navigate it is like this 
after that I will create uh, my own template okay so let's see it is already like empty after I write this one click okay so here we go we have it fine so after that we have to install in EM so Node.js will take care to install all the required components okay takes a while after that it will be done yes it is finished so let's back let's take this one let's build it here let's enter it takes some time okay good so let's start and see what what we have now it is compiling it will be open okay good so here whatever we can write here it will okay so now we have this component it's working fine okay so now let's uh, go and implement our code okay so what I will do right now I have some code okay I want to let's just one second I have it here here sorry Okay, so I will take like uh, those two properties, okay, and paste them here. Yep. And okay, save. I will save this one. Okay, here I added two uh, parameters. Okay, here this is the one. Okay. So here I added like this one. Uh, I wanted to add text uh, box. Okay, so in the init, uh, I can come here in the container. I get the container from this one. This uh, init function is uh, given. Okay. After that, you can I I will uh, bind my. Uh, my method to this uh, text okay and here is I uh, add the component to the component here I mean uh, it is like the text box to the main component okay and here we have uh, this the output and the output it will be the same value entered in the text box plus string out Okay, and here, here we have, for example, uh, this we are using uh, TS ignore. If we don't, uh, if we're using some JavaScript and we don't have the library definition for it. Okay, so we're using, for example, an alert or in uh, XRM to pages. Okay, this one. So let's click save and. Let's back here. I will click Control C. It will yes. I want to close. So let's rebuild again. Okay, to rebuild again. Okay, I already have this, so I will run this again. After that, I will run this one.
Okay, here's the uh, alert is pop up here. I click OK. So if, first, if the first uh, property, for example, have something like this, and I click this. Okay, it's one, two, three. It is one, two, three, and it is one, two, three output. Okay. Here, for example, text. I click on here. It will update. Okay. So how to deploy it? Okay. If you want to deploy it, you have to, for example, create folder deploy. Okay. So I will come here. Okay. Under test me. CF. Okay. Directly here. We have new file called deployment. After that, we'll uh, navigate to this one. First, I have to close this session. Control C. Yes. Yes. Why it is just. Uh, Okay, I think we just uh, deployment, sorry. Okay, perfect. After that, I will create the solution. Here we go. And after that, I will add this one. And this and after that this and we'll find now if we navigate, let's navigate and see in the main folder and the back. Here we go, here is our component, okay? So we'll just deploy it. So now I will open uh, the browser and open CRM so you can see uh, this component. So here is uh, my CRM. So let's open this one. Come on, controls. I use another component or remove it. I will add here is my component. I just created right now. Click here, and if I come here, it's configurable as you can see. So I will select this one, delete me. Okay, okay, and click save and click publish. Okay, so let's refresh now. At the same time, I already opened here the unified uh, interface, so I will click here. Okay, here we go. Let's click this. So, if I, for example, write it here something demo platform component framework and click it outside here okay I think it is not updated so let's back okay I forgot to select this one so Pay attention to select this one, click OK, another publish, another save, another publish, and we have to refresh that, Control F5, and this also I will give it like Control F5.
Okay, look now. Here, this is a bubble. The alert. Okay. If I write here and outside, here is the value, and here is the output. Okay. Thank you. So let's uh, save this one. But if we come here, okay, it's still loading. Plus, I want to show you something. It it is. It will not work on the classic interface. Still loading, so let's give it another control F5. So if we look here, there is nothing happening. For example, let's type anything here and look. There is nothing happening. Okay. So. Let's back here to our step. Yes, here we have some samples. One of the samples is a double grid. All of no, all of us know it, and uh, uh, personally, I like it. It's all a lot of some scenarios, okay. And the autocomplete. So let's see the autocomplete. I will configure it right now. Here I will back to this one again. I will remove my component. I will add this one. Autocomplete. Yes, please. I will select the view. Here is the view. The entity would be account. This one will be uh, let's all the account and the field. Here I will select the field. It will be delete me. Okay. So I will click here. Here. This one and save. If I come here and if I click Control F5, okay. So let's click New, and here let's uh, let's select any. Another refresh. So, let's look again and see what we did. I Just in control again. I did the same <laughs> issue again. Sorry. Sorry. Another F5. Here we go. If we click here, look, we have here is uh, autocomplete. And if I write, for example, a sheet, it give us the autocomplete. Okay. Also, we have here this. Uh, we will find a lot on the GitHub or PCF.gallery. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you.